Hey, and welcome to The Solid Verbal. Now would be a perfect time to consider subscribing. Yeah, that little subscribe button for year-round premium college football content. That's it. Here's the video. Enjoy. Subscribe. My hunch is that we will not disagree on Notre Dame at Ohio State. 7.30 ABC. Ohio State also favored by 17. It's a big number. Uh, I, I saw our friend Pete Sampson tweeted out that Jarrett Patterson, Notre Dame's Perhaps best offensive lineman questionable for this game. Ooh, not great. Not not great. I think he will practice. I hope he will play. We are recording this on a Wednesday, so just keep your attention tuned into any developments on that front. Could be a big deal if he is out. But this line has progressively gotten higher. <laughs> it's progressively gotten. I believe I said three months ago it would end up somewhere in this vicinity. Yeah, and that it still wouldn't be high enough. No matter how much you believe in Notre Dame, how much you believe in Marcus Freeman and the youth movement and what Tyler Buckner gives them on the ground as a true dual threat quarterback, they are not winning this game, Dan. They are not winning this game. Ohio State has too many ways to win. All right. This is not one of Ty's reverse jinx things that I used to do pre 2021. It's not that. I assure you, it is not that. I am telling yeah. you, do not bet on Notre Dame here. If you don't want to bet this game, if you don't believe Ohio State's going to win, then don't just don't bet the game. But for the life of you, do not actually put money behind this game because Ohio State is going to win. They're going to win. You know where I stand. I've got the Buckeyes winning the national championship. I don't think this game will be particularly close. I've That's got a Ohio big State. number, though. That's such a big number. I've got Ohio State by 21 to 24 points. I think they are that much better. <sighs> If you want to bet this game, here's Ty's pro tip. Okay. If you want to bet this game, watch it. Get one of those apps. There are a multitude of them that could be a sponsor but are not currently. <laughs> Wait until something happens. Problem gambling? Call one. Continue. <laughs> Wait until something happens. Wait until Ohio State scores right away with Jackson Smith and Jigba right down the seam. Wait until maybe Notre Dame pulls off a long run early. Wait until the first team scores and then bet the other way. Yeah. Change the point spread by like six points. Usually that's what happens. In-game it, bet the other way. That's where you get the most value. But right now, I cannot, I'm a Notre Dame fan through and through. Yeah. You know this. I like this team. I'm into this team. I can't, I cannot get behind any kind of pick in which Notre Dame wins. And you know where I stand. I don't believe in betting on a team that I don't think can win. So I'm going to Ohio State. Okay. That's okay. I think that's that's reasonable. Uh, it, there, there's nothing dramatically different to me about what the Ohio State offense will look like. And you can say, yes, of course, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave being gone is uh, is tricky. But Ohio State's pretty great at receiver so without good. them. They're so good. So to me, the question is... it. I have a hard time, and I'm with you. When you say Tyler Buckner is a true dual threat, I haven't seen him really be a threat throwing or running fair, the ball with fair. any sort of well, consistency. Fair. We saw him run the ball, but that's pretty yeah, much all but, we saw. He's got really good wheels. Kid can run. Yeah, but threatening what? Last year he didn't threaten the starting quarterback job. So, okay, I'll, I'm going to wait and see on that term fair. with that's Tyler fair. Buckner. Totally fair. To me, the fascinating part of this is going to be what... Notre Dame looks like up front and the degree to which they can make CJ Stroud uncomfortable. That's your only real hope. Cause I don't have a lot of faith in Notre Dame's offense this week. I think they're going to be fine this year. I, they'll find guys, you know, I, I think they're going to be good. Um, possibly not great, but good. I think they're gonna have a good offense this year and you know, maybe they get the ball to who's, who's the fake name receiver, Lorenzo styles, Lorenzo styles. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little bummed to notice that he his styles does not end in a Z. No, it should. That's disappointing. That would have been a great boutique. Lorenzo Styles. Um the edge rusher du jour for Notre Dame to make CJ Stroud uncomfortable, Isaiah Foskey? Yes, potential is first that the round guy? pick Isaiah Foskey. Yes. So he is the dude that we saw it and look, it's just a component of Notre Dame being competitive in this game. But we saw Oregon's defensive line last year have some success in making C.J. Stroud uncomfortable. He still threw for like 7,000 yards against Oregon, to be clear. But we saw Aiden Hutchinson against the Ohio State offensive line, which struggled at times. I think they're going to be better this year with a new coach. 
that that to me is a a crucial key is the gravity that Isaiah Foskey demands from Ohio State up front because I think Notre Dame's defense is going to be really good. Maybe not this week because Ohio State's going to make everybody look kind of subpar on defense. So I have Notre Dame covering this game. Oh, come on, Dan. Not what because are you doing? I think not Stop if, it. look. If there Come is on. a team that will blow out, if Team A is going to blow out Team B, it's Ohio State over Notre Dame. I think that much is clear. Correct. I'm a big believer in week one garbage, in week <sighs> one scar tissue, in week one malaise, in week one, oh, maybe we should have started this guy at left guard. Oh, maybe we should have started this guy at inside linebacker. Oh, maybe we should have started this Ohio guy at Ohio State has corner. had their two deep set since March. I don't care. There's no malaise. They know who they are. They've known who they were since the end of last season. But this they is, haven't uh, played an active game against a mysterious other team since January, Ty. Come on. I just... I, I think Notre Dame is a it. good team, and that is too many points, sight unseen, right now. I know it's in the shoe. It's not. They're not flying to Tacoma to play this game. It's not far from South Bend. I have Notre Dame covering this game with the final score, 37-24. Not especially competitive or back and forth. Maybe it's Tyler Buckner has a really rough time, but backdoor covers his way to a 13-point loss, something like that. But I have Notre Dame being good enough to cover this number in a mysterious and always mysterious week one matchup. You disgust me, Dan. You disgust me. Sorry. I still love you, but you disgust me. Well, I, I'm disgusting you by saying Notre Dame, your team, yes. can hang with yes. one of the nation's best. It is the hope that kills you. You know this. Okay. Don't do this to me. Fair enough.